Welcome back, folks, to another fantastic episode of Will's Plays Castle Crashers. Uh, please ignore the man behind the curtain. So here we are with our little stove-faced character. It's been a little while. We're doing pretty well. Doing good. Let's, uh, what we got? Well, it's time to take a boat ride. If you come to this place before you get all the relics he requires, he's just like, fuck off. Fun fact, you can actually move during this cutscene, even though it doesn't look like it. It doesn't actually affect the game or help you in any way, but it kind of makes the uh, camera fucking freak out. So this section, I honestly wish it was longer. I wish there was more to it. <coughs> It's kind of like, they shoot a couple cannonballs at you, you get to fight some of these retards. They have an annoying ability, if you punch them, they do this special move. And they jump down and stab you. Uh, the easiest way to deal with that is to either use magic, or just move vertically. I mean, most of the moves in this game, you just move vertically and problem is solved. Uh, there's an exceedingly rare drop you can get from these guys, which is their weapon, and the only way to get it other than uh, unlocking them as a character. So... I've played this level a bunch of times, and I've even tried farming for it, but I've never actually gotten it this way. So, the big issue is that there's only so many of these guys to fight, right? It's so annoying with the little jumping thing they do. You just punch them a couple times and suddenly it's like, oh, time to turn into a log, because I'm Naruto now. Yeah, make Naruto references make sure you can Oh yeah, oh man, that's so sick. So, almost done. See, the issue is you only have two waves of these enemies to fight. So, most enemies, like, skeletons appear more than one level. But even in the main level they appear in, uh, which is a swamp coming up, marsh coming up, you still fight a fuck ton of them, way more than here. This is where you first find the shovel, and you're like, oh, let's dig up things. Oh, awesome, I found an apple. Oh, I want to steal a sandcastle. So. This section's kind of annoying. Because the only way to take these guys out is ranged attacks. range attacks are weak and shitty like mine. Oh yeah, that was fun. It's fun. So these little uh, scorpions, they take one hit.
Wow, what fun. Wow, what an excellent part of the game. I had fun. I hope you guys did too. Wow. Alright. Let me fight these guys. These guys are kind of annoying because you can't hurt them when they're in this little tornado form. Or it's the equivalent of a tornado form, sorry. Just gonna like jump. Uh, they're the typical giant enemies. The two kinds of giant enemies in this game are the like the big brute versions of regular enemies, but then there are also these kind of like um, the frogs we're gonna see in a little bit. Basically, what they're gonna do is they're gonna. Oh, I was trying to one cycle them. Uh, they get hit a bunch of times, and then they decide that they want the other side of you. They're gonna flank you. So that's how much hit points that guy left. God, it does even less damage. Yes, yeah, so these scorpions aren't actually required to die to leave a screen, which is nice. But they can get really annoying when you're trying to walk around. Oh look, an actual enemy. So here's where these guys can get annoying. So he's trying to disengage right now because he doesn't want to fight me yet. But I really want to fight him because I don't want to have to sit through this, like, underground ball phase for a hundred years. Great. I'm glad we had that experience together. Okay. And a special shout out to my little bear on her birthday. One years old, you guys. How exciting. Okay, please die. Thank you. Most leveled up. Having a good time. Almost at the next desert ch oh, actually I know what happens next, it's not desert chase yet. Let's get your pop up now. If you look in the background right now, you can see that uh, UFO. If you missed it, you can rewind. I'll talk to you in the future. Okay, so you see that UFO that was there? Keep that in mind, that's uh, plot significant. Look at it, who's this? Who's this asshole? So notice that my rate of uh, my rate of level ups has significantly decreased since I started putting points in the strength. Yeah. I mean that's to be expected. I'm taking a lot fewer hits to oh my god. I'm taking a lot fewer hits to actually kill people. that guy. He didn't know what happened. 
so the fastest way to do this, you're about to get abducted. There's a place you can jump. And I messed it up. But if you jump, that means your travel time is a little slower, so if you were to speedrun this game, that would be a good strat. Uh, that's based on number of hits, not damage. So if you can get your Y attack, your Y magic to reach that, it's usually good for an instant kill. So these guys have one health. All of them. But as you might notice, there's a lot of them. So this is one of the few rooms that this move, your double A move, actually pretty useful. I don't have really good AoE, air of effects right now. So unfortunately I kind of have to tank a lot of hits, get as many people as I can. If these guys had any more HP, this would be a f fucking excellent round to grind and level to grind. Because there's a lot of them and you get a lot of hits and you're hitting a lot of people. But unfortunately, in practice, because you're only getting one hit, you're really not getting that much. And this is another room that suffers from the... There's a lot of people not engaged with you. So, this room would be a lot easier if all the aliens would come up to you and try to attack you. But, as is, you kind of have to fight for their attention. And they all like using their ranged magic attacks. So little glass cannons. Excellent. Okay. This is one of the hardest parts, not only in the level, but probably in the game. Actually getting out of here in time is ridiculously hard, if you fuck up at all. I've got really low speed, so it's going to be really hard for me. So I'll do my best. They give you one minute. That's all. So this screen cleared fast, and this screen sucks. Oh. Oh, that was really good. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This screen takes a long ass time now. I wish you could just jump over these, uh, cords. It's supposed to be funny. Anyway, even if you don't get in there by zero, you have another like, second or two to get in. So this is one of the cutest animals in the game. So it's really fun to be on this camel, obviously, as you might expect. I mean, come on, you're on a camel, like, how awesome is this? Isn't your life suddenly just, like, way better? But, unfortunately, the camel is really not that fast, and animals don't get boosted by your, uh, agility. So as we're gonna prove in a minute, it's way, way faster to not ride the camel. I usually keep keeping it for these screens because you're like, oh, camel, it's fun. 